So as a pharmacy intern, um, I do a lot here at Great Scott uh, Pharmacy. I mean, I go anywhere from answering the phone to talking with customers when they come in, helping them, you know, pick out their appropriate over-the-counter medicine with what complaint they might have coming in. Um, you know, I, I talk with doctors on the phone. Um, I talk with insurance companies. You know, I pretty much everything that a pharmacist would do. It's you know, there's just a lot of different. Um, responsibilities here as an intern. Well, they get them prepared for the job that they're going to be doing when they're done for their careers. So anything that they're learning in the classroom, then they have the chance each semester to actually put that learning into real practice, working with real patients and real pharmacists, and getting those real life settings. Uh, so we can teach them a lot in the classroom, but um, that's really preparing them for the things that they'll do when they're out. And uh, nothing really replaces that real life experience and some of the things that they're going to encounter when they're well, when the pharmacy students come here for their intern experience, um, a lot of time it might be their first opportunity to ever be behind the counter in the pharmacy. So giving them that perspective of different from what they've experienced on the other side of the counter to being behind the counter is very unique to them. Um, so we're very pleased to be able to have the students here and be able to show them what pharmacy looks like in practical applications. So working as a pharmacy intern has allowed me to um, kind of figure out what I want to do um, after I graduate. I think um, I really like the community um, side of pharmacy. I really like getting to know my patients. I like saying, you know, seeing the same people every so often and building that relationship with them and they, because then they build trust with you and confidence with you and I, I really do enjoy that. Um, but I also have always had an interest in going to academia, so I don't know, maybe I could do a little bit of both one day, but right now that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at. Considering pharmacy, then try to get into a pharmacy environment early on, so whether it's shadowing, um, whether it's getting a technician certification beforehand and working before you're able to get an intern's license, talking to those folks that you may know, whether it's a relative, a neighbor, or a friend that works in pharmacy, um, ask tons of questions, uh, we're always here to answer them. We've been very fortunate here at uh, Great Scott Pharmacy to be able to have some of the best students from the University of Finland. Some of their skill level, their talent level, their personality level has been outstanding. And to be able to see them come here as part of their practical experience, we've certainly enjoyed it so much. But we've also pushed those students to be able to say, hey, take what knowledge you know and to be able to apply it to the patient care and we like to really get them in front of a live person with real questions so that they can help manage their health care, their disease state, and understand the knowledge and application of the medications that they're taking. The patient really doesn't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And once you make that connection with them, that you identify them as an ind individual, not just as a number, not just as another person coming through, but you're able to take that knowledge that you've gained, that you've worked hard for, and apply it to that individual's life to give them a positive outcome in their health care, that makes lasting bonds and barriers that those patients will appreciate the rest of their lives. I do have some advice for future um, students who would be interested in interning. Um, don't be afraid to go out and put your resume out there and just get the experience. I mean, it is very intimidating. I remember when I first started and I was so nervous coming in my first day, but everybody's just there to help you and they understand that you're learning and they understand that you're a student. Um, so I mean, just don't be afraid to go out and learn and try something new and get out of your comfort zone.